We have seen some amazing achievements at Spaceport America so far, most notably a billionaire blasting off into space, but now a man plans to break a world record here on Earth. Julie Friendack shows us how one man is redefining what is possible 10 years after his life changed forever. I ran my first race at eight years old on a mini bike. I came in second. Dan Parker has been racing all of his life. Even after the crash 10 years ago that left him blind, a fiery collision with a concrete wall at 175 miles an hour. When they brought me out of the coma, the doctor said, what do you see? I see, I see nothing. Independence training from the Louisiana Center for the Blind taught him many things and made him realize he can race again. Now with a specially equipped car, he plans to break a big record at the New Mexico spaceport this week. We are trying to break a Guinness World Record and the current world record, which is fastest speed achieved by a car driven blindfolded is, I believe, 200.51 miles per hour. The National Federation of the Blind says it'll be one way to prove blind people can do anything, especially in the dawn of self-driving vehicles. He has designed the vehicle himself and worked with uh, engineers to design an audio guidance system, among other things that uh, will allow him to navigate the vehicle safely. The team chose the spaceport because of its long and spacious runway. Parker's world record attempts start Wednesday and continue Thursday, March 31st, 10 years to the day that he lost his sight. I've always been able to handle pressure. You can't go to the starting line, I'm worried. Julie Frendak, KOB4.